Hello everyone. Today we will have a small class about periodic inventory method. We will work with FIFO, LIFO and average cost. Uh, if you want a class about perpetual inventory method, just click on, on, on the link that is on our description of this video on YouTube. So, first of all, what is FIFO, LIFO, and average cost. Uh, all three works with uh, how do we get away our inventory. For example, for uh, FIFO, first in, first out. Our first purchase will go out before the latest purchase. LIFO is quite the opposite. Our last purchase will go out first and our first purchase will go out later so life less in first out and the third one average cost our uh our exits or our purchase that we we sell we will take out by the average prices of our purchase and what the periodic inventory method means that we will not control our cost of goods sold after each so uh, after each sell but on the only on on the end of our period that can be a month a semester a year you can choose it so let's work with a spreadsheet let's much easier for example this one we have uh our our beginning in inventory sorry of 35 units with a price of 25 dollars and our inventory is 875 dollars and we have one two three four five six seven purchase on our period that can be a month or a semester or a year and uh, 50 units in the the first 40 units on second and go on and each one with a price and we have our total of all of our purchase so if we sum our beginning inventory with our purchase we will have 405 units and we pay for all of this, our inventory, $11,820. And if we do not sell anything on that period, this sum will be our final inventory. But we sold uh 350 units in that period so our final inventory is our sum per unit sold or we can create a a formula that's our beginning sorry too much this beginning inventory plus purchase minus units sold that whoa sorry i hate this sometimes okay so our final inventory will be beginning in in even inventory plus purchase minus units sold or you can write here to be much better final inventory equal to final inventory equal to beginning inventory plus purchase minus unit sold so our final inventory, 55 
units. So, FIFO, how do we get our final inventory with FIFO? Very, very easy. First in, first out. So, on our inventory, we'll have only our last purchase. So, if we have 55 units, we will have our last purchase, 45 units. 45 units. Price, 31. Show here. $1,395. And on our... Uh, last purchase except the first one it's this one 50 units 25 dollars so we do not need uh, 50 units anymore we need only 10 units because our inventory is 55 units our price 29 so our inventory 1685 dollars and life life is quite the opposite on our cost of goods so we we will take out all our last purchase so on life on our inventory using life we will have only our first purchase so the first purchase beginning invent inventory 35 units, our price $25, $175. And we need 20 units on our second purchase, $28. Our final inventory, the sum of both, $1,435. And our average cost, it's a little different. We we need our average price. And how do we work with the average price? Our, we, we will work with our sum price. So total divided by units, 29 and 19 cents. So let's, and here, this one is this one divided by this one and our units 55 hundreds a thousand six hundred and five dollars and nineteen cents but we do not want only our inventory we want our cost of goods sold and how we will get this one? We will work with this first formula here. We do want our units sold, our cost of goods sold. So, equal beginning inventory plus purchase minus our final inventory so our unit sold was on the right side of our formula we move it to, to our left side so we change the the sign -out. beginning in inventory and purchase remains on the same size so the same sign -out. and final inventory was on our left side of the formula we move it to our right side of our formula, so minus final inventory. So, FIFO, cost of goods sold, beginning inventory plus purchase, it's here, minus final inventory. So, beginning in inventory plus purchase here, minus final inventory here ten thousand hundred and thirty five dollars apply for the same process 
beginning inventory plus purchase minus final inventory here. And average cost, the same process. And how can we know that this is correct or not? One, one tip for that. Our sum of final inventory plus cost of goods sold must be the same for all our three methods. So the first one here, the second one here, the same, thanks God. Third one, the same, thanks God again. So our three values are the same, so probably it, it's absolutely right. So that's it. It's not a very complicated method. It's very easy, uh, much simpler than perpetual accounting methods, but it's not so, so accurate. So my name is George Edward Scarping. My email is jscarping at gmail.com. You can find me on, on Facebook with my full name and we have our facebook group called accounting 24 7 uh, as well as our youtube channel and uh, where you can subscribe it so have a good day and see you soon